be making bases. What's going on YouTube? It's your man Ever J Music, owner of Be Making Basics, and we're back again with another dope video. If you are new to the channel, please do me a favor and subscribe along with hit the bell notification so you know when I'm gonna post. And go ahead and also hit the like button and leave me a comment. So let's go ahead and jump into today's tutorial. What we're gonna be covering today is the drum synth in Logic Pro 10, 10.5, man. The drum synth can do a lot of dope things, especially if you're a hip hop producer. For instance, one thing it can do, it can basically shape your own like 808s, snares, things of that nature. So I'll just go ahead and jump into it. I have a uh, instrument track already pulled up, but we'll just go ahead, just for the sake of it, pull up our, our an original one. Um, what you'll do is go over here to software instrument and under instrument, instead of going with the quick sampler or whatever you have default, you're gonna go down to drum synth, it's the third one down. Click on stereo, make sure you have your output set to one and two and hit create. All right, I have my musical typing keyboard on over here. And uh, if you want to use that too, you could just push command K. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. So basically, this is the drum synth. All right, I'm gonna be showing you how to basically make a dope 808 as well as you can, you know, create dope synths. Now, straight off, like just with the um, original, it has some pretty dope like 808 vibes. So let's just kind of check it out. I ain't gonna lie, that's a pretty solid 808. But um, as you can see here, we do have these little knobs that you can adjust here. So like for instance, we're gonna use C1 and we'll just adjust the knobs here and then I'll show you how to save it. So first thing we'll look at is pitch. If you pitch that down some, it really doesn't matter because since you have the whole keyboard to do it on pitch, but um, you know you can you can adjust the way it sounds just with the pitch. You can even bring it up some. But usually for an 808, man, you know you probably just want to go ahead and leave it alone. These are really just going to be where the magic is. You can turn the volume up some. You can mess with the uh, decay here. And as you can see here, is uh, if you bring that decay lower, it sounds more like a kick drum rather than an 808. So just by messing with this decay, you can make it sound like more of a kick drum or an 808 sound. Lit, right? And so I can quill over here, make a, a long 808 if I want. Ooh, see how it sounds all the way. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. I'm gonna leave it around 40. That's a, that's a good 808, man. That's a good solid sound. We can even take it up to maybe like 50 to get back that. Yeah. Sweep. Let's kind of check that out. You know what I mean? It pretty much you can see how it adds a little more punch or kick to the sound. So if you want to kick your or punch your sound, you know that sweep will help you out with that. And you have the shape. Saturation is gonna give it some of that uh that you know, like that old school vibe. So say if we were doing a kick, let me see here. basically kind of adds a little bit of distortion to a certain extent, but this is just a way you can literally you can 
make some dope kicks and, and snares and stuff like that. So this is the kick. Let's say that we like this kick, right? What you can do is come over here and say save as. And then what you could do is just name this, uh, let's say kick zero one. Now I can pull this kick up under uh, drum synth anytime I want. You know what I mean? If I want to recall it, I can do this the same way. So like for instance, say if I want to, you know, create another track here, I'm starting from scratch. I'm bringing up this drum synth, you know, stereo. And um, obviously, the kick we created is not there. So um, let me take it back here. What you would do is go over here under factory default, and you could either recall default, I mean, not recall default, but you want to go over here. See, right under this section, you'll see all the sounds that you create. We got kick one here. All right. It's pretty dope. Um, another thing I'm going to point out is, and I'm just going to delete these, and we'll create another track again. Another thing I'm going to point out is that you can come over here under factory default, and they have presets that you can go through. So you don't have to, you know, go in here and create your own here. You can use what they already have created, and you can uh, modify it too. We'll go through some of the snares and stuff now. So, so let's hear it. See here, right here, you have uh, kicks. You can do snares and claps, percussions, hi-hats, and cymbals. Let's go to snares and claps. Same type of vibe here, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you change the decay, it's basically gonna make it a longer sound. Um, the body gives it a more fuller sound if you put more into it. You can change the tone, or you can change the pitch. And really, I don't really mess too much with the pitch because, you know, like I said, you have this whole octaves, all these octaves of, uh, on the keyboard anyway. You add a little dirt to it, which is the, basically the distortion. Same deal here. If I wanted to, I could come over here and save as and say, you know, snare. All right. But it's, it's pretty much the same vibe, man. This is something that maybe most people don't know about, but. You know, you got percussion, you got hi hats. You can come over here and say, all right, I'll, instead of a hi-hat, I want to, you know, start with a. You know what I'm saying? So, so much you can do, say, if you don't want any noise on it. more bail the options are endless man you know what I'm saying really at the end of the day I just wanted to just just do a little highlight on the fact that you can come in here and make your own drum sounds literally from scratch using the drum synth I mean or you can come in here and use these presets you feel me And these these actually are coming in pretty uh pretty tough sounding. You know what I'm saying? Like you could actually use these in product in your productions. They don't sound flat like you would normally hear with stock sounds. You know what I mean? This is stuff that you could really actually use in your production. So see that's a solid. As you can see that the K is low, but that's that's the solid. I had pretty much right there you know but yo that's pretty much the video I just wanted to introduce you to this drum synth man if you have any questions 
uh, more comments again just hit the like button and um, go ahead and leave the comments or questions right in the uh, section below but uh, thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all in the next lecture or tutorial